Hey y'all. How's everybody? Uh oh, I just got a message. Hold on for a second. How's everybody doing? Can I get the message? Welcome, welcome. I see you guys coming in. I'm supposed to have a luncheon, okay. Ah, uh, yes, good. Yes. Alright, so now it has been moved. Sorry guys, I was uh, checking my messages. Having uh, an appointment. Hello, beautiful people. I see y'all coming in. Welcome, welcome. Hi, everybody. It's Amora from morewithamora.com. You guys know who it is. Hello, hello. I see y'all. I see y'all. Say what's up. Say hi to me. Say hi to your neighbor. Say hi to my divine masculine representation. Chakra Tupac. <sighs> what a time to... I'm glowing because I just sprayed my face with rose water. So it's not sweat or anything. It's actual glow. <sighs> I have a beautiful aura, a rose aura of the face now. <laughs> hello, hello. Who said hi? Tashina, welcome, Jasmine, Harmony, Olas, Olas. Hello, Jasmine. Yay. Okay, she says she's going to check the replay later. That's absolutely fine. Be sure to share these messages so that others can see and feel the magnificent energy that we are creating and cultivating here in this space. Right, babe? I have to be more cognizant of my divine masculine, okay? Let's even this out. I have a thing about symmetry, so I would like, and you know, y'all know I'm a photographer too, so I would prefer for the borders to be even. Otherwise, it makes me a little nutty. Anybody else like that? Where it's like, you really need things to be symmetrical. Like if you're gonna put a TV in the middle of the room, it needs to be in the middle of the room. If you're gonna put the couch, in the middle of the wall, it needs to be like, it needs, or it needs to be special if it's on some asymmetry stuff. Like, it needs to be intentional, but still pleasing to the eye. Because when I say asymmetry, not intentionally, drives me nuts. Okay, so let's start with this Oath of Manifestation as well as, so the Amora Energy Heart Healing is still going on, but you now just have to email me for the link. All right, so we are back to Oath of Manifestation, Manifest and Chill every morning at 9 a.m. Unless, unless I am, I mean, not on weekends, number one, not on weekends, Monday through Friday. And then unless like next week, I will be on the Femme Magic Cruise. Uh, we were actually supposed to go to Cuba, but... Y'all's United States president banned cruises from going to the island. Therefore, we are now being rerouted. We're not going to Cuba, but we are still having a magnificent experience. But guess what? You know Amora Energy Retreats can still do her thing, right? So come with me. So we are planning alternate excursions to Cuba with Mahat Petrova, with a bunch of different other people. So let me know if there's something you are interested in, right? And y'all know I go all the time anyway. So that's who the cruise is with, Mahat. I'm excited. I'm excited. I will be presenting on the balance of the masculine and feminine, self-clearing and cleansing, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. Of course, always talking about my cellular cleansing. I got my shake on deck. Mm. Of my 40, 24. I was just about to invert the numbers. My right, 24 grams of protein, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, everything I need. A complete balanced meal replacement. All right. So... The Oath of Manifestation, this oath, you can find it on my website at morewithamora.com slash manifestation, although I am not the one that created it. I am just passing it along, so please do so as well. Pass this video along, share, love, like, subscribe, YouTube, all that good stuff, right? So 
This oath is done every day with a partner, spoken out loud with tremendous feeling and emphasis. It can be said many times throughout the day, recorded and listened to on your smart phone. I accept and receive unexpected good, unexpected money, unexpected love, unexpected kindness, unexpected generosity, unexpected offers, unexpected prosperity, coming in unexpected ways from unexpected places in my life and the lives of others. I am constantly guided and boldly empowered to receive the lavish abundance of the universe. I accept the principle that abundance and prosperity have already been given to me. It's my acceptance that makes it real and opens the space for manifestation to rush in. I open wide the doors of my consciousness to receive and to give. It is done now. Through this oath of manifestation, all things are possible. I declare absolutely I live in a friendly universe that is always providing for me. I feel it powerfully happening now. I open to receive more abundance and to give more abundance than I have ever experienced before. I can afford anything I desire. In fact, I am so prosperous, I need never worry again. I am grateful for all that I already have. And I am grateful for all that I am ready to give. I keep myself lifted in high consciousness, no matter what the appearances are. God is all there is. And I let the God time roll. And so it is, I check and I men highest will for all be done again and again and again and again. Thank you for having my back, Divine Bay. He always got my back. Oh. All right, guys. How are you guys doing today? Drink your water. If you have a shake, I hope you have one. Drink it. If you have not ordered them from me yet, email me now. You can get a full month supply for like $150. So it's like 3 to $4 a shake. You are going to be saving money and you're going to hit your weight management goals. Whether that means you need more muscle, you want to gain weight, or you want to drop some pounds. It starts to fall off, okay? Because what happens is our bodies are not getting the nutrients they need. The grocery stores are not giving us the nutrients we need. Why? Because they're mass producing all of the fruits, all of the vegetables, all of the stuff that we think we're putting in and we're eating right and we're taking care of our bodies and we're going vegan, all of those things. We're really, really trying, but it's not working because it's not actually in the fruits and vegetables because of the farming practices. So even organic, if you know When a company has to go organic or when they decide to go organic, they are still allowed a certain amount of pesticides and toxins to be in their products. So therefore, it is important for us to take our health into our own hands, keep these things in mind, and act accordingly. We can't be acting like we don't know, oh, I don't know why I have high blood pressure. Oh, I don't know why my cholesterol keeps going up. Oh, I don't know why. Because things around you are happening. And then if things on the inside are also as chaotic as what is outside, then you're creating cortisol on the inside. That is a toxin that your body creates on its own. When your body has cortisol levels that are raised, you're not able to lose weight. You're not able to gain the weight you need if it's muscle. You know, not talking about just trying to gain weight. Your skin is going to break out. You're not sleeping good. You think you might be sleeping but you're not getting into that deep sleep that actually helps your body rest, gives your spirit the freedom to go chill out, okay? So Angelique says she's feeling pretty good this morning. Good, hello, hello. Who else is there? Who else is there? Javal, hello. Yes, my amethyst. He recognized my amethyst crystal. This is my amethyst. One of my amethysts. Look at the sparkle, guys. Doesn't that just make you want to just jump inside? I want to live in there. Can you imagine how pretty it would be in there to live? Okay, 
So that's a bit. I want to spend the night in a crystal cave one day. Hello, Lashonda, Tiana. Why is this thing moving? This should not be moving. How do I tighten this? Hold on. Boom. This is like I'm stopping. And then I need to tighten this because that spells too much too. Un momento, mi amores. Okay. Oh, guys, I need a theme song. I need a theme song. Like, it's an aura. <laughs> no. <laughs> Something that actually sounds good. Because <laughs> that was... There was too much in here. Ah, hello, Maria. Hello, Leela. I love you too. I love you too. All right. Let's. Oh, let me drink more. Like a, oh, I have to take, take my vitamins. So I also take vitamins. And so this is a natural accelerator. It comes with my um, cellular cleansing stuff. It's apple cider vinegar along with cayenne pepper, black pepper, and some other stuff that heats the body up from the inside again trying to be in a constant state a constant state of release and detox we're trying to get ahead of the toxins that are being dumped into us that we are consuming that we are creating so how do we get ahead of this by finding our own balance so first we want to find peace and balance from within and then things without begin to align as well y'all I'm living this, I'm living it, and sometimes you got to practice it before you even see it. Faith. You just have to know. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I just, so, it's only funny to me because <laughs> now I'm over it, right? But I used to be traumatized about taking pills. And so that's what just happened when I went to go, <laughs> I went to go take my pill. I was like, I hope my throat doesn't close up. So when I was little, because even, oh, recently I've had a, a, my skin broke out. I put on a shirt that had been in this old cupboard in my, um, in the last place I lived in. It was this old cupboard. I think the cut sums up that cupboard. I'm going to write about it in my book. But I think it was possessed. <laughs> so I stopped so it would make me itch I realized back when I was in the house anytime I would wear something that I had put it was like a wardrobe like the lion the witch in the wardrobe type thing it was one of those but it had like um drawers in it too so anytime I would take my clothes out off the hanger and put them on like I would itch and I'm like mm, this is interesting okay so I stopped okay so I bought like a little outside rack thing and I just started hanging my clothes up like on a, a different rack and I started putting it like so okay but I was still itching okay so I didn't know I was like maybe is it Mexico like I don't know is it what I was eating that's when I went raw vegan for two months yeah I remember all this stuff right so there have been some clothes that were just in that thing and it's like I'm not wearing them until I wash them but when I moved I kind of mixed stuff in but there was this one shirt I knew I was like I haven't worn a shirt in forever and I was like you know what I'll just I'll wear it to work out and then I'll wash it and then I'll give it to Cuba when I go like I have a whole suitcase of stuff that I just you know when I'm ready to let things go I just let it go and I said I put that thing on and I went to the gym to to work out and when I went to work out I just started itching and it started started here so I take my shirt like it started up here so I have on a sports bra so I take my shirt off and then I start itching everywhere where the sports bra was not but the shirt touched me and so now I'm still a little broke out okay so I say that to say my skin issues right it's been a lifelong thing chronic illness okay so when I was a kid <laughs> My mom tried everything. Like, we were trying the creams, which is another issue. We were trying, like, all these medications. We're going to all these doctors. I'm bleeding because I'm scratching myself bloody. Like, my mom is crying. I'm crying. Everybody's crying. Like, and so one day the doctor was like, here, we're not going to try the pills. We're not going to try the creams anymore. Let's try a pill. I must have been, like, six, seven. And I just remember them being huge horse pills, okay? 
My mom tried to get, I, it must have been all night long <laughs> because she tried to get me to take these pills. First, I would try and I would choke. I just remember they wouldn't go down my throat. My throat was not big enough. I just remember, of course, it was trauma. And so now, 30 years later, it still comes to me every time I take a pill. I'm afraid my throat is going to swell up. I mean, it's going to close down and not going to take my pills. I know it's not true, and I know it's an illusion, and I know it's some stuck energy in that trauma space, and it's funny <laughs> because I still take pills. Like It's not like I'm like traumatized by it where it doesn't stop, but it's still in here, so that's why I laughed. I just bring that up. What else do y'all, what kind of things do y'all have that come up? <laughs> Angelique said her video went out when I started talking about pills. BB, I am drinking my magical 24 grams of delicious, this is strawberry. We have strawberry, chocolate, vanilla. We just had cookies and cream. Birthday cake is my favorite. I thought that was temporary. Mint chocolate, peach mango. And so this is part of my cellular cleansing program. Um, but this has been my breakfast, my snack, whatever it is, for five years. This is what helps me keep my weight off. Y'all know I was 200-something pounds at one point. <laughs> I was still pulling them, so I didn't really realize I was that big. I remember, so I, I had, so I left Colorado, I went to college, and I left Colorado, I, le I went to college in Colorado, and I left Colorado, went to Houston to go live with my dad, and, you know, Houston got that good food, so that's when I was like, mm, mm, let's eat, let's eat, no school, let's eat, right, so I get really, really big, and then I go back to Colorado, and I go see my first boyfriend. And we were boyfriend and girlfriend from like 14 until 20, 21. That's a whole long story. Anyway, but so I went back and I was like, I, I really didn't realize because in Texas when you're big, like you aren't big because everything's bigger in Texas and they like girls big down there. So I was like, oh, I must really be fine. Right. I get back and my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend says, I was like, have I gained weight? Like, I can't really tell, you know, because... My clothes still fit, and he was so, he was trying to be so nice. And he said, well, it looks like you gained weight in your fingers. <laughs> I had a little, no, no. He said, it looks, <laughs> he said, the perfect part was, the exact words he said, was it looks like your fingers want to pick up a cookie. <laughs> like, What? He said you gained weight in your fingers. <laughs> what? That's when I knew I had gotten out of hand. <laughs> Get it out of hand! <laughs> that was a funny joke I just made. Um, but yeah, I was over 200 something pounds. I stopped getting on the scale at 203. Because then I was like, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Who cares? 203, 230, like, psh, let me just go. And then I found my shakes. <laughs> you also remember I was on depression medication. I was part of that too. It all got back into balance. Okay. Oh, I have another pee. Oh, no, my. So, recently, I'm just talking now. I have nothing else of importance to say. What time is it? 9.30. Oh, I gotta go. Oh, wait, I said that. I meant that. Recently. No, oh, darn it. What was I just gonna say? I missed it. I guess that's it. That just means I should go. All right, y'all. We ready, Ray? We got to go. We have an appointment. <laughs> Mark my words, y'all. I'm just practicing because things is moving. Things is happening. I'm rolling with it.
Forget your spiritual nunchucks when you go out in these streets, y'all. All right, stay up.